Hello, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I want to show you the latest gift set that I purchased at Erin Condren. I've been mentioning to you guys before that I went on a trip with my husband to Florida. It was like a 20 plus hour trip. So I went to Erin Condren and I wanted to purchase the travel gift set that they have. Fortunately, when I ordered mine, it didn't come in time. It was already time for us to go on our trip and I didn't get the travel gift set in time for me to use and show you guys how I used it and how functional it was. But here is the gift set. This is what they're calling the travel gift set. This came in another item that I also ordered, the winter surprise box, and you'll see a video of that here. And um, fortunately, I didn't get it in time, but that's okay because there's still a lot more traveling to do for 2022. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what's inside. So it does come wrapped in this big cellophane wrapper. I love that it's in great condition. So this came shipped with another item that I ordered with Erin Condren. So it came in like this big box. And just off the bat guys, I love it already. So the box does say each day is a gift. Open it, celebrate it, enjoy it. So I love the blue. Dark blue lettering is in light blue. And um, in the back, it does give a sticker and it tells you what's inside. So inside this box, according to this little sticker here, you should get one travel journal, one rose gold ballpoint pen, one mid-century circle outline travel pouch, and a refillable hand sanitizer bottle and holder. So cool. It's a light box. It's not heavy. Can't wait to see what's inside, what everything looks like inside. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And let me just say again, I love my packaging. I love that the packaging to be in great condition because some of the items, some of the packaging that the items come in, I like to keep. This is something that I am going to keep. I can definitely store a lot of stuff in here because it is resealable. Love the box. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, more blue. And the first item I see here is is the hand sanitizer bottle and refillable pouch and it is in faux leather and i do love the little clips you can clip it on your backpack and i love the asterisk here this is what the back looks like it has like this um weird plasticky smell just so you know it caught my eye right away and i smelled it and that's what that is but it is a button closure here snap closure so inside is your little hand sanitizer bottle refillable and i just hope that this does not drip a lot of the items that you get like toiletries to travel uh, you purchase the empty little bottles and the lotion and or shampoo conditioner whatever you have that's liquid is still leaking out so i hope that this does not i will update you on that but i like it because there is a hole on this pouch here where the hand sanitizer bottle would drop down like so and you clip it and so you don't have to take it out of the pouch you just open it you refill it and you close it back up and there you go perfect for traveling okay. and everything is like taped on so it won't move around okay so now we do have our travel journal and I think I'm going to love this travel journal. This travel journal is soft cover. It is not hard cover, but look at the design. It's the globe. And in the front, it does say you're on your way. Travel journal. I absolutely love this design here. So in front of the journal, the front cover, you see more of the globe here. This is 
travel journal and then in the back it does say time for a new adventure right because you're at the end and it's time for a new one so um in here uh, again this is what they're calling the petite planner hence here it does say petite planner and I'm very interested in how you can organize your trip. So the reason why I wanted to order this travel gift set was because of the trip that we were going to take. Nevertheless, we're going to still take many, many, many more trips and I can definitely use journals like this, but I really want to look into here and see how is it that's going to help me on my trip. So looking into this travel journal, there is a section here where it says reservations and to do. This is especially important because even though we are traveling in an RV, you still have to make reservations at RV parks, uh, state parks. Um, even when you're boondocking, you need to make sure that there is at least a spot for you for when you arrive. Making these reservations and so having this page here is absolutely essential for what I need for when I travel. On the other side, there is a packing list page that is also very important i also make lists for everything and this is especially important so you can make sure you don't forget items on your trip we have items places to visit such as landmarks entertainment shops and restaurants and there's also a part here where you can actually plan like your day and or your week and make sure that you hit those important landmarks items uh, places that you really wanted to make sure that you go uh, you can write a little information about that especially like the address phone number and like a website the thing about this planner too is that they're open-ended you don't have to have it specifically for 2022 you can make the date yourself so there's items here for you to write down the date um as you like but that day that you are planning i like it that it even helps you plan the weather the weather is something that is so important for you to know how are you going to dress you know what are you going to wear and or is it going to be like hardcore snowing maybe we shouldn't go there so things like that that's going to help you with planning your trip planning the spot that you've been wanting to visit so and then it helps you with what are you looking for that trip. So what are you going to be seeing today? Today's outfit, the reservations, and of course meals. Um, and on the other side, it also helps you with favorite moments from today. And it helps you recap. I do like these two sheets because on the trip that we went, help me track the weather. This is going to be good for when I track the weather. Obviously, the day of the week that I went, I'm going to have the date written down as well. What are you going to wear according to the weather cold in the morning hot during the day and then it gets really cold uh, when the sun goes down too so you need to think of those times of the day as well and what you're going to take and if you needed reservations even to include to go into a restaurant you're going into a very uh, busy uh, tourist hot spot and they're only taking reservations you also need to make sure that you make reservations for when you're going to go to your scuba diving uh, class and or for when you're going to have dinner or whatever you're going to uh, do, you need to have those reservations information ready. Also, there's a section here where it says for meal and it says B for breakfast, L for lunch, D for dinner, and then I'm assuming S is for snacks. And snacks is what we really packed in our travel backpacks because you are seeing this and you're seeing that, taking pictures and taking video and everything, and then next thing you know, you are hungry and you cannot just stop and walk to a place for you to grab a burger and or a snack. Carrying snacks is also very important and I really like that they include that section on this journal as well. And it also has favorite moments from today. Believe it or not, um, I ended up writing myself, I ended up taking a little teeny journal when we went to Florida uh, and I did write down a lot of items here that I needed to know. Some of the items I used my own 
uh, little symbols to help me remember the ones that I will go back to, places that I will not go back to, and or little notes that I attach to that to include the price. Um, and I also had things like here, going to Key West, and I wrote like a little journal here on my thoughts on how I felt at the time. So I also like that they include a little section on this journal for that as well, to include expenses. So you stopped at this place, where did you stop, the gas station, how much was the price, the address of that gas station. Because remember, you are going blindsided to a new spot and was it like a little creepy place maybe you might not want to go back to, maybe you really liked it, everything was so cheap, everyone was so nice um, and you most definitely want to visit that spot back when you get to go around that area again those all of those things are so so important for you to remember uh although it's fresh in your mind perhaps that day the next day and the next and the following week you're not going to remember none of this because you are so busy with what is happening now having this in your travel journal is going to be extremely essential trust me i know so then this pattern pretty much repeats on all of the rest of the pages and that is great because you might get to travel to uh, in a city many different places within that city and or even travel to many different cities that day. It just depends. Maybe it's just a quick stop and go. Maybe we just stopped at the city to fill up in gas and then we left. This information is extremely helpful because you get to reference that back and also uh, again with the expenses it's going to help you calculate how expensive were you to be taking that trip. Should I take this trip again or not right or how can you modify it especially with the expenses here. So I really like this travel journal. It's going to be extremely extremely useful. I can't wait to use it when we start traveling again for 2022. And um, I hope that they continue to make this because I see myself buying more and more of these travel journals for sure. So we have a travel journal. And we have a pouch. So this is like a uh, feels like a canvas pouch. It does have the mid-century circle design that Erin Condren normally has, zipper closure. And inside it is vinyl lined. So if it gets wet, it's okay. It's gonna be very easy for you to dry. So it has a pocket and smaller pockets inside. I like that they included this pouch as well because you can put this pouch in your backpack it's not that bulky it is foldable um, but if it gets wet you can easily clean that up you won't get much of your items in here dirty and or if you get the inside wet this bag can easily be dried out as well so i really really like that you can easily keep all of the stuff that you need for your trip the receipts that you got when you put gasoline and or restaurant and things like that that you need to keep track of you can easily put that here plus you can keep your travel journal in here as well so i have my travel journal here in this pouch and i also have my uh, hand sanitizer little pouch in here and you're pretty much set perhaps maybe your wallet and or your cell phone in here and you are set you can put that in your backpack and or anything that you are using when you travel and it's going to be all in one area and you don't have to be fishing out and doing different things for you to try to get organized. So that is it. After that, there's really nothing else. It's just a box to have lined it. And there you go. And at the end, you will have pretty much a keepsake box for all of your memories of your trouble. You get to keep everything in here. You get to put a lid on it. So instead of using like a shoe box, you get an actual keepsake box for to remember you of your awesome troubles that you have. So it's not a lot of items in this gift set, but they are very essential for sure. So, um, and I really like this one that this hand sanitizer little pouch because you can clip it even here on this side of my backpack also has like hooks here and you can hook it here and I easily would have then a hand sanitizer for you to use because you're constantly going in and out. Also, I like this because I can hook my face mask on here so I can keep these two together and when I strap it, let's say on my um, backpack, 
I have the strap here and I have everything in here. So you're constantly going in and out. And if you're the ones that are wearing your mask uh, in and out all day, it's gonna be easy for you to put away and or when you're eating and not lose it. When we traveled, we saw a lot of face masks on the floor that people lost. And it's so hard, I understand, to keep track of your face mask because you're constantly putting it on and putting it off. Even if you're drinking water, just walking, let's say you're going to the zoo, perhaps you're the ones that you take it off to take a, a drink. You're constantly, where you're going out to eat, you're constantly taking it off, you're putting it on. And so I saw a lot of face masks on the floor that people I'm sure lost. So having it like this all together, I know it's going to definitely help and it's going to keep it in one place as well. So I'm, I'm happy for this little hand sanitizer pouch as well. So I can definitely use this travel gift set. I'm so glad that I purchased it. I'm already getting my wheels turning on the next trip that my husband and I are going to take. So my husband and I do travel in an RV. We recently purchased a very tiny, tiny little class B RV. It is a Thor Freedom Elite. Uh, rise and it's an 18m so it's a really tiny it's a little silver rv we call it the silver nugget that's just how tiny it is and we absolutely love it i hope that this video was very informative i am so glad that i purchased this travel gift set from erin condren go ahead and go into erin condren and see what might strike your fancy see what may be helping you there's a lot of items for teachers as well um, know that i am an affiliate you ordering from one of my affiliate codes does help me with purchase more erin condren items means that i get to show you all of the new erin condren items that they may have as well so i want to thank you so much for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when i upload a new video thank you so much for watching stay safe out there in your travel and have a great day